Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to Race Room for another video. Now yesterday there was an update for Race Room which brought us the WTCC 2016 pack. In that pack is this bad boy, the Volvo S60 Polestar TC1. Now those who know me know that I was a big fan of the mid-90s Volvo touring cars, especially the 850 Estate that raced in the BTCC. Now if you haven't seen that, go and Google it right now, 850 Estate touring car and prepare to fall in love. It is glorious. So of course based on that I couldn't resist making a video of this Volvo because Volvo touring cars are best touring cars. And what we're going to be doing is a 12 that race around Mantorp Park, a circuit that was also recently released for Race Room, and also a track that I don't actually know very well. The first time I drove it was today, so I've got about an hour or so for practice. I think I'm up to speed enough now to do a race, and hopefully fast enough to put on a good show for you guys. Before we start the race, I want to highlight a couple of setup changes I've made to the car to make it a bit more friendly to drive, in my opinion anyway. Uh, I've taken the uh, rear anti-roll bar down two clicks and made it a little bit softer and also put two clicks on the rear wing. Uh, this sort of stops the rear end from moving around so much, which I found, especially on liftoff, uh, I was getting a lot of quite dangerous oversteer. So this has sort of combated that a little bit. So then, in our 400 horsepower front wheel drive Volvo S60 touring car. Watch this start be awful. Oh, and wasn't even looking at the green light there. Not a bad start considering. What's the wheel spin, but... Uh, you can't really escape the wheel spinning around here, unfortunately. Up to T1 for the first time. Going to be nice and cautious. Go around the outside, maybe in third gear. No, no room there on the throttle. Use that on the exit. Up the inside of our Volvo Reverend. And then runs it around the outside of us. Very hard to find space and speed. Come on, Sabine, get on with it. Pushing Sabine through the corner there. Just stops mid corner. And now we have to sort of wait. Single file through here. So I say single file. I'm being shoved to the inside then. You saw that stack of black tires on the inside. Do you hit that? That object is solid. You just stop. So AI very scary through there in the first lap. But we're through unharmed first time around. Down the back straight now, which is a runway. Looks less for our braking mark. It can be quite hard to see all this metal on the way. And there it is. And the second gear. Again, the Civic on the outside. Just pretending we aren't there. Race from AI. And a little bit too aggressive for my liking nowadays. Just make some good racing, but sometimes, times like that, they just ignore you. Which is quite frustrating, but around the outside there, so the rear end gets a bit loose, and I actually take to the grass. And, uh, whilst overcorrecting, car's very slow through this right-hander. Almost stopping, and you have to just wait. It's so frustrating. And go to the outside now, see if we can get the Civic around the outside. Follows the bean through, a bit of contact of her rear quarter. And one lap done, and we are still alive somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. But up to the 19th spot, 11 laps to go. T1 again. Rear end, try to come around. We'll keep it in fourth through here, actually. Oh, Jesus Christ, got up on the curb there. Revs rise. Revs rise? Revs rose, whatever they did. The revs went up. <laughs> I had a wheel spin as I touched the floor, and that made the corner on a very odd to go through. Well, I butchered that sentence, didn't I? Anyway. I wish I could go through here at race speed, have to wait for the cars in front, can barely see the apex. If you get it wrong and cut into early, you're going to hit that uh, that tyre stack and that's just the end of the race, so can't to do that. Inside now, with Miss Smith. Coming to sixth gear. Oh, sixth gear is horrible in this car, I wish I could amend the gears, but you can't. Fix gear set. Use the camera of this corner. I'm going to force the beam wide, give the AI taste its own medicine. There you go. Now through here with the stock set up, it's very dangerous. Rear end just tries to escape you, but we're okay through there, around the outside, maybe. A little bit cheeky there, sort of squash the guy on the inside a bit, but touring cars are gonna touring car. If you can't beat him, you've got to join them. And up to 17th spot, not a bad run so far. And Mantorp Park, as I said in the introduction to the video, it's a circuit that I've never actually come across before, never driven before until um, until today. And or if I can, if I have, I can't remember it. Um, and I must say, it's uh, it's a very interesting circuit. I spent about an hour or so trying to learn it. Of course, I think I think a front-wheel drive touring car isn't the best track to learn, uh, isn't the best car to learn a track in. But um, once you get into it, this section, especially coming through here at race speed with no other cars around you, getting it just right, getting it just spot on. So you're, you almost nip the tyres on the inside, then just nip the kerb on the outside. It feels so positive getting it right. And it's actually a pretty, it's, it's a pretty fun circuit. It's quite technical as well, especially these sort of corners in the front wheel drive car. You have to be really careful with your application of the throttle. Down the second gear. 
to get it to the bottom there. Make the most of the camber of the corner. Accelerate out, but don't accelerate too hard because power understeer in this thing, as it would be in a 400 horsepower front wheel drive car, is uh, is quite scary. First gear, stuck behind Thompson now. Tip to the outside, trying to get on the power as quick as I can. Ah, just on the rev limiter there. First gear, outside of Thompson. Might get a Come on, come on, James, get on with it. Civic on our inside is going to dive through if I'm not careful. Ah, contact with Thompson. Front wheel drive save. Just about. Now, I would say go back and watch that again if you want to learn what a front wheel drive save is. I got helped a little bit by the, uh, the Civic, definitely. But basically, if you get spun, if your rear end gets tapped out in a, in a uh, front wheel drive touring car, you smash the throttle, absolutely smash it. And then point the car the way you want it to go and hopefully it will grip. About you know, eight, nine times out of ten it does so, but uh, we were lucky there because Civic sort of helped us out. We didn't lose too much time. Down the back straight again, locking on to Thompson. Not going to quite be close enough for a move into this right-hander, but AI is so strange in the way it breaks. It breaks super early and then even though it throws itself into the corner with quite a lot of speed, it seems to be able to grip. I'm obviously doing something wrong in terms of driving this thing. Oh god, AI is so slow. Caught me out there definitely front wheel drive save front wheel drive save and nothing happened <laughs> that was scary there see the AI just caught me out through there and I had to take a avoiding action nice and soft and good away we go again another lap completed eight to go up to P16 top 10 would be nice in this race at this rate it isn't going to happen I need to be putting together some better laps be so patient in this car you want to just smash the throttle and just get out of the corner as quick as you can wrong line through there but um of course that understeer power understeer is just so massive when you're on throttle around here it's so difficult around the outside of thompson don't push me into the tires <laughs> see you later james that's what you get that's the plato that's the plato alton park that is that's what you get <laughs> I'm not a fan of James Thompson, so I'm not too bothered that we spun him. But uh, on to the next one. We're trying not to pump this one. Again, as I said before, touring cars are going to touring car. Stop on the front. That was better. That was a lot better. I am a bit slow through here. I've got to take that into account. Power through on the outside, maybe. No, a bit slow there. Oh, no. Got on the... The front one just went a straight line, but still running outside of a Citroen. It's nice to embarrass the OP car. Oh, jeez, Jimmy, come on. So easy just to go too deep in this thing. And before you know it, you're understeering on losing places. Oh, driving a front wheel drive touring car is just trying to minimise understeer. That's the entirety of how this car is driven. And it definitely takes some practice to get it right. I mean, I drive. Of course, the GTR LM in VEC, the front wheel drive based prototype, but that is technically four wheel drive with a 70 30 split to the front. This is 100% front wheel drive, so it's a different beast. I'd always used to think that 300 horsepower was sort of the limit for front wheel drive. This, of course, 100 horsepower more, showing it that it can be done, although it is very difficult. Down the back straight again. Sixth gear, just such a bog. I wish I could amend the gears. But hey ho, can't do that. Closing in on the guys in front. Got to be nice and soft through there. Got to sort of just roll it through. Any big input on the brake or on the throttle just unsettles the car. Might be inside, maybe. No, I don't think so. I'm going to hold it back. Not worth doing just yet. I know I can be fast through the last corner. I might get a, a good line through there. Outside. Oh, car on the inside. It's Gabrielli. Can we cut back underneath? Contact of Gabrielli on the inside now, going down the straight, pulling a little bit. I'll be able to get him for T1. AI are very quick on the inside. And then outside, he's still there, push him out wide, he's still on the inside. I think we're past, yeah, we're past now, okay, good. I thought he was still there, but he wasn't. Just sort of uh, walked into the outside of the track there, as you do. Ah, oh, Mr. Who's that in front? Whoever they are, they're very slow through there. 
And now right on the back, I think that's a larder. Use that slipstream. Thank you very much. Pull out. Hopefully the, the wing won't hinder us too much now. The clear advantage going into this corner, but I know the uh, AI are very good at running that outside lane if I want to. No, it starts to pull back in behind me. That's up, that's up to P12. Top 10 seems a bit more realistic at this point. Got to just keep pushing, keep going. Fifth gear through there. No, fourth. Fifth is too much. So focus on not scrubbing the tyres, you can hear it when I scrub the tyres. And it's always horrible because you know you're doing it, but you just have to to get the car around in one piece. Something that I didn't mention that you might have seen at the uh, the starting screen is tyre wear is on. So this car is only going to get more difficult to drive as the race progresses. Half, more than halfway done now though, so not too long to go. Maybe that curb on the inside of the eyes, nice and soft. Second. Um, my line through there is so bad, it's just, again, it just stinks of someone who doesn't know the circuit, and I'm trying my best, I'm trying my best with limited knowledge. Oh Jesus, rear end kicked out to the left there, I had to take, avoid the action. Well, I would have just went over to the left there, a bit of phlegm in my throat, sorry guys, I'm starting to sound like a uh, nasally guy, but uh, that's what happens when you're catching a cold, and you must do videos, you must make a video, because the Volvo is so fun. Gear. Oh no! <laughs> the understeer struck. Understeer, why? I think we have to definitely got the pace for a top 10 here. We've got a lot of that to do it in, so we might be able to go for another top 6 or something like that. Around the outside, Volvo. Swedish driver called Bjork. Couldn't make that shit up. Outside. Oh, I thought the Volvo was going to just come back and just tag me there, but uh, made it around there. Okay, and now he's stuck behind me. He decided not to go to the inside. We might get a little bit of a biff going to T1 if I'm not careful. No, he doesn't do it. I thought I was going to get a nice Volvo sized punt then, but it never came. Softly. My line is a rear wheel drive line through there. Need to really get better at that. A little bit fast into there. Again, you see the rear end starting to dictate where the front end is going. I mean, the setup I have is sort of designed for tyres that are not worn. Maybe as the tyres start to wear, that characteristic of lift-off uh, oversteer comes in. And it's it's lift-off snap oversteer. It's uh, actually very scary. I understand that you want to try and get the car oversteering to a point to get it turning, especially with front-wheel drive cars, but there's definitely a limit. I feel like the stock setup around here is just a bit too far. Tighten the wheel there for good luck. And also so we don't crash. Oh, <laughs> AI is having a bit of a bit of a get together in front. Oh jeez, the understeer, you can hear the tires just crying out, please, just for a bit of respite. 400 horsepower being sent through those front tires, as well as the steering, as well as the majority of the brakes as well. Nothing they can do about it, Lopez. I'm going to go to the inside here. I'm going to get it wrong and go to the outside, damn it. Had to get off there, I would have been certain wide and over the grass, and that would have been our race effectively over. So easy to ruin the front tyres and this thing. As soon as you go on the grass, the next corner or so, you just have no grip. You just understeer off. It's actually quite embarrassing. Lopez slow, waiting, waiting. Tried to get the cut back there, but I hit the kerb, and for a second I was one-wheel drive and just didn't get the drive off the corner. Happens easy enough. Those laps are now starting to wind down. The top ten is starting to... The window is starting to come less and less. But you've got to do one more car to get there. The Citroen goes wide, go for the inside line. Power! We're through, nice, top ten. Can we keep it, though? Rear end, again, starting to be a little bit naughty through there. That corner is something that just highlights the characteristic of this car to a T. Scrambling for grip out of there again. Come on. Cars in front are quite, quite closely bunched together, so there's a chance to make, make up some places here. <laughs> Rear end starting to kick and I'm taking a very weird line through there. 
sort of accounting for understeers. I don't really have any more as the uh, overseer starts to become more prevalent. <laughs> you can just hear me on the throw, just you can see it as well. I'm just trying to stop the understeer from happening and I haven't gone through here at full speed yet because every time I go through here, there's an AI car in the way. That does mean though we're now right on the back of Mr. Coronel. Give me that sip screen, Tom. Give it me. Give it me that slipstream. Late on the brakes. And we're through. P9, nice. He's there on the inside, though. Smash the front. Oh, come on. Grip. Give me some speed. He's still there. No, he's not. He's pulled back now, so we're going to just try and go faster here. Ah! <laughs> Rear end, please, no. I want to live. I'm only young. Ish. Ah, oh, downshift protection. Why? Oh, it's Mr. Chilton. See that, Chilton? <laughs> Been doing too much traction, I think. Low fuel. That's good. But now I can't see anything on my gauge. Any of my gauges. Thank you for that. I mean, I would prefer to see my gauges there, <laughs> but I guess we'll just not see our gears or anything and just go with the low fuel. That's cool as well. We do have enough to finish this race, so it shouldn't be an issue. Bit of a gap now with the cars in front. They've been going through here fast for the first time this race. Fast-ish anyway. We do gain a bit of time. Snell, come on. Give me some more speed. Whatever the Swedish for Snell is. Bork, probably. So I think I'm P9 now, so I'm not, again, I don't have that information on screen, so these are going to be the last couple of places for me to try and gain. Last lap will be final lap, I think. No, oh Jesus, sorry dude. Gotta make sure to get that, that punt in there. Wheel coming loose again. Dive to the inside. And then just burn up the front tyres. So, oh, check a flag. So that was a la last lap approach, I think. There you go, then. Last lap, last position there. Last corner. Where do we finish? I think we're finishing P8. No, P7. Nice. You end up in P7 after starting 24 from the grid. Oh, I'm tired after that. Guys, that was the Volvo S60 WTCCCCCCCCC touring car. James Thompson at the back of the grid <laughs> because of my pump. Nice. If you enjoyed the video, Make sure to hit that like button if you really liked it. Make sure to hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time. Oof.